Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Phyllis has often stated that Sharon is capable of murder, but no one, not even her closest pals, is buying what she's offering. When her warnings come true, our intrepid young and restless redhead may be unable to say, told you so to her loved ones. Why? Phyllis has been nothing if not stressed out since Heather's death, and no one could blame her when her son was arrested after being falsely accused of murdering the woman he loved. As a result, people are giving her a lot of leeway as she goes from place to venue in Genoa City, loudly stating that her adversary Sharon framed Daniel. Despite some public emotional turmoil following Faith and Lucy's automobile accident, which brought back memories of Cassie's deadly collision, Sharon is known to all and all as the mild-mannered barista slash neighborhood therapist who would never hurt a fly. Of course, there's the issue of her burning down the Newman Ranch during a bipolar crisis years ago. But that's a far way from what Phyllis is implying. In truth, Phyllis' loved ones are well aware that she has done worse herself, so they interpret her charges against Sharon as the actions of a woman desperate to save her son from life in prison. Christine Phyllis, other long-standing foe, is the only standout as she represents Daniel in his legal battle. She doesn't believe Sharon killed Heather any more than anybody else in town, but she recognizes the importance of turning Phyllis' claims into a legal strategy that would generate the all-important reasonable doubt. Sharon's shifty actions at Heather's burial, desire for retribution for Daniel's role in Cassie's death, medication struggles, and being the last to see Daniel's lady love alive all contribute to her complex character. You've got yourself a lovely little defense in court. Phyllis attempts to persuade her family and friends that Sharon is capable of murder a fallen on deaf ears. We, the audience, understand she is not wholly wrong. We know Sharon either killed Heather or believes she did, she passed out. And because to Cameron's prodding, she is also willing to deal with Phyllis if necessary. In a nutshell, Sharon and Phyllis are on a collision course. Unlike their fight many moons ago, which left Phyllis in a coma, this time it will not take place on a stairway. Surprisingly, it appears that we are headed for yet another vehicle accident. Young and Restless posted a teaser video on their official Instagram account that previews Abby and Daybone's wedding and finishes with Phyllis, wide-eyed and scared, at the wheel of a car, definitely involved in a potential accident. Given the circumstances, we can't help but wonder if Sharon will take some type of action to permanently end Phyllis' claims against her. Perhaps she will cut the brake line. Alternatively, it could be a convenient coincidence that Phyllis is engaged in a vehicle accident just when Sharon needs her to quiet up. Phyllis may swerve to avoid hitting something in the road and end up hitting a tree. We'll have to tune in to see what happens. Today is a very momentous day for the young and the restless, as the CBS drama marks a significant milestone. In fact, fans will be able to see it all unfold when the 13,000th episode airs and Abby and Davon's wedding begins. As one might expect, the cast is thrilled to be a part of it, and one in particular went above and beyond to demonstrate her love for the soap that has been her home for the past 41 years. Lee Bell, Christine, celebrated her achievement with her castmates in an Instagram video shared today, with Ray L's Gonna Be a Good Day playing in the background. The press event features Christian LeBlanc, Michael, Tracy E. Bregman, Lauren, Brighton James, Dave Owen, Michael Miller, Kyle, Peter Bergman, Jack, Michelle Stafford, Phyllis, Mark Grossman, Adam, Joshua Morrow, Nick, and others. The toasting begins with Belle and Melody, Thomas Scott, Nikki, Veronica Red, Manny, Susan Walters, Ashby, Diane, Cameron Grimes, Maria, Haley Aaron, Claire, Beth Maitland, Tracy, Zulika Silver, Audra, Kate Fairbank, Tessa, 
Melissa Claire Egan, Chelsea, Connor Floyd, Chance, Courtney Hope, Sally, Elizabeth Hendrickson, Chloe, Kate Blender, Esther, and Michael Graziere, Daniel, raised their glasses. To end the video, Bell is seen high-fiving her brother, Brad Bell, bold and beautiful executive producer and head writer, while Sharon Case, Sharon, raises her glass, followed by a shot of the whole cast of the top-rated program together. It was such a fun-filled celebration for the cast and crew creating this episode of The Young and The Restless that I just knew I had to share it with the fans of the show who have kept us number one for decades, says Belle. Everyone was in the mood to celebrate, and when I held up a glass of champagne, I suddenly had a lot of volunteers to toast. She went on to say, but then I had to break it to them that it was only sparkling apple cider because we were in the middle of a long day of taping and many had to go back to work right after I shot this, as well as cheers to the best cast and crew anywhere. We applaud the cast, network, and behind the scenes team for bringing Geno City to our screens every day. We can't wait to see today's episode and anticipate 13,000 more to come. Although we're reasonably sure Sharon didn't kill Heather, the barista suspects she did and is increasingly motivated, desperate, to cover her tracks. However, may this merely exacerbate an already awful situation. Soap stars get together to support Greg Ricard. Two fan favorites have returned to Genoa City. Jill will undoubtedly have some business affairs to attend to, while Ashley, who has recently recovered, will want to assist Abby and Davon in planning their wedding. There's no place like home, and Victor and Nikki will feel that way as they settle into the new slash old ranch. Young and Restless spoilers for Tuesday, November 12th. In Tuesday's recap, Phyllis discovers Sharon in her apartment and Billy's fortunes alter. Victor and Jill had a meeting to discuss some of their unfinished business. In the meantime, you probably forgot that the two business titans were once in love. But they did make our comprehensive list of couples that almost everyone has forgotten about. Lily, who has danced with the devil before, is determined to stay one step ahead of Billy. Determined to clear her son's name, Phyllis lays a trap for her longtime enemy, Sharon. On a collision course, watch out for a devastating twist for Phyllis and Sharon. Young and Restless Spoilers for Wednesday, November 13. Believe it or not, The Young and the Restless will air its 13,000th episode today. Come dressed to impress and ready to raise a glass of bubbly as Genoa City celebrates the wedding of two beloved legacy characters, Abby and Davon. And given that this is a soap opera wedding, expect a stunning turn of events. Raise a glass with the cast of The Young and the Restless. They have a lot to celebrate. The Young and Restless spoilers for Thursday, November 14. Billy may be Jill's son, but she isn't ready to let him take advantage of their bond. In fact, she is prepared to draw a line in the sand and then stand her ground. Sharon gets a shocking awakening, and we're not gonna lie, we're hoping it's another visit from the always entertaining dead Heather. Nick, Sharon's favorite ex-husband, has discovered a surprising discovery. Coincidence. Or due to his ex-wife's sudden arousal. Mark your calendars. When will the new soap Beyond the Gates premiere? Young and Restless spoilers for Friday, November 15th. It appears that the game Jack and Diane have been playing may be coming to an end. Why? Someone is about to bust them. You might believe Victor has everything a man could want and more but evidently believing that too much is never enough, the mustache is ready to make a huge addition to his portfolio. When Sharon is cornered, will she fight back? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe for more information. I'll see you guys next time.